Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki, and in this guide, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the boss fight for the newest quest that came out, the Birthright of the Dwarves. Now, a lot of people have been having trouble with this boss fight, saying it's ridiculously hard, and there is some truth to that, but I just wanted to let you guys know there is also hope to completing this boss fight, even if you don't have the best gear in the game, even if you don't have the best stats. So as you can see, I'm just showing you, I'm in Tetsu with Dragors, and it was not faring too well for me. I died about 10 times, I just wanted to show you a few of those deaths to really show exactly how difficult this boss fight can be, and that you do not want to underestimate it. So the first thing you want to do when um, starting the boss fight is you want to run to the other side of the little area palace thing where no one else is, and you just want to get um, Grimson trapped because what he will do is he'll use a special berserk attack that can deal uh, 1.5k damage very very rapidly so fast that you cannot out eat it and he will basically kill you if he hits you with that attack with the full force of that attack and you aren't very high health um, but anyway as soon as you got him trapped on the other side of the palace what you want to do is come over to the side where you originally came in and then uh, Hridamar or however you pronounce his name uh, will be over there and he is a major and so he will stand at a distance and shoot fireballs at you and he'll also summon a lot of minions uh, the only things that you really got to watch out for are the uh, minions that are blinking red um, I do not believe that I had one in this video but trust me I saw plenty of them in the earlier fights with him and so you just want to avoid those guys because if they blow up when they're next to you they'll cause about 2.5k damage and that's gonna hurt so you gotta watch out for that and he also has a special attack where he will heal you if you don't deal enough damage to him in the next five seconds so as soon as you see the thing pop up in the chat bar the orange mes message that says Rydamar starts to channel power to his cannoneers damage him to prevent it just make sure that you damage him and uh, he, you will avoid that attack and he won't heal himself if he does heal himself it'll heal about 12k damage so it's not going to be very fun because it'll just um, prolong the fight more than you want it to be but anyway, as soon as he's dead, it's time to come over and deal with Grimson. Um, Grimson, as long as you do him right, he's not a very difficult fight. Um, what I would recommend to do is, as soon as you start attacking him, just use your stun ability, and then stand at a distance and range him. Um, it's a lot easier than melee, and I meleeed a lot, and uh, range was just so much easier. You could also mage if you have a higher magic level or better magic weapons than you do ranged weapons. Uh, in that case, mage might work out as well. Um, one thing I found out that range was far, far more accurate versus the other guy than it was versus Grimson. Um, I'm guessing that's because he's a kind of mage slash range type class, and the other guy was a major. But anyway, um, as soon as he has the Berserk ability, you just want to kind of run around and uh, make sure you're not within melee distance of him. And if you can do that successfully, then he won't hurt you and it'll be all fine. But as you can see, um, other than his Berserk ability, the rest of the fight with him is real easy. As long as you stand at a distance, he just ranges you and he does not deal a whole lot of damage with his range attacks. Um, so as long as you're praying range, you should be fine. But anyway, uh, this is the end of the quest. You can choose either to kill Veldabon or let him live. And then after that, you can choose to either tell him to step down from the throne or you can choose for him to remain king. And I was a nice guy, so I let him live and let him remain king. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it helped out. I hope that you guys can complete the quest now on your own. So that's all for this video, and farewell.